everybody, Fiber Spider back again in the kitchen with another tasty video for you. Today we are going to be making crepes. They're easy, they're delicious, and they're versatile. And more than likely, you already have all the ingredients you need in your kitchen right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whether they are sweet, savory, for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or a snack, they are awesome. Sort of a cross between a tortilla and a pancake, and oh, so delicious. So, without further ado, let's get started. Hi again. All right, so as always, the ingredients are gonna be listed in the description box down below. So, first things first, we have two eggs already cracked, no shells, thank you very much. Plop those in there. And to make the process a wee bit easier, I'm going to give them a quick little whisk in here. Break up that yolk. All right, and then to this, I'm going to add half of a cup of warm water. Temperature I really don't think is a huge factor, but hey. All right, so that's half a cup. Then half a cup of milk, or what I use, half and half. One of my favorites. Always makes things just a little bit creamier, a little bit richer. There we are. Get you back in the fridge. Okay. And two tablespoons of melted butter. There we are. And give this a slight mixy mixy. All right, and then a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, or if you are using salted butter, omit the salt. There you go. And last but not least, one cup of flour. Now, the reason why I do this last is because I like to mix it in slowly. That's just me personally. And this is all-purpose flour, by the way. There we go. And just going to add a little bit at a time and give it a good whisk. Now, some people, they like to use blenders or food processors or what have you, so that it's completely homogenous. They also, you know, run it through a sieve, etc., etc. You can if you want to. Personally, I don't think it's that necessary. As far as I'm concerned, lumps build character. And just completely blend this and mix this and whisk this until it is relatively smooth. Now, another thing that you can do, and I have seen this and read this and heard this in a number of different places, is after you are done mixing the flour in completely, let this sit in your fridge for, you know, about a half hour or so. Personally, I just go right in, you know. I, I go for the throat and I just start making them right away. Does it make a huge difference? I don't know because I haven't tried it. But I'm just letting you know in case if it's something that you want to do. You know, first and foremost, I will never ever say that I am an expert when it comes to cooking or baking or anything else, 
but I am a rather enthusiastic novice and I go with that. So actually this is getting a little bit thicker, very nice, and it is not lumpy, which is even nicer. And just pop the rest of that in there. Get you out of the way. And there we go. Let me just mix this. And we have ourselves a nice batter forming. Now, I've also seen a lot of recipes that include sugar into the crepe batter. Now, if you want sweet crepes, well, by all means, I would say go ahead and do so. However, with this recipe, it really enables you to go sweet or savory, you know, without a conflict of interest where the batter is concerned. Okay, very, very nice. So it's it almost looks like pancake batter, but it is definitely a bit thinner than that. And these are not going to puff up like pancakes do. No, it's going to remain a very flat sort of surface that we're gonna be baking here. All right, so it looks as if our batter is completely whisked, not lumpy at all, and we are good to go. So I have a nonstick pan and I also have some cooking spray. This, even though it is a nonstick pan, it is good to have cooking spray. Believe you me, because these love to stick to the pan. <laughs> so I'm gonna heat up my pan on a sort of a medium to low heat and we'll get started. All right, so I have myself all situated here. My pan is heating up. Like I said, it's sort of a medium to low heat. It's 5.5, 5, if that means anything to your stovetop. And I've got my batter right here. Got a ladle with a little, little spout on the side. And I've got a plate for my crepes. We are good to go. So this, this all happens relatively quick. So taking it off the heat to start with, just gonna get a, a dollop here. And sort of whirl it around. Now the first one always, <laughs> the, the first one always looks like a hot mess, okay? The first one is not anything to go based on, okay? And the heat of the pan already starts to cook it. Actually, I should get my spatula. And these cook up really fast, okay? And once the surface is no longer glossy and wet looking, it is ready to flip over for all intents and pur purposes. And it is almost there already. It's very, very quick. Now this one's probably gonna stick they always do. The first one, I don't know what it is, but the first one is always like, ah, no, not happening. Yep, it's stuck. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a sec. Sometimes the edges curl up a little bit. That helps. And is it? No, nope, not yet. And I did spray this pretty good. All right, so, oh, it's curling a little bit over here. Can we get underneath this? Oh, 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 ha ha, it broke free, somewhat. Okay, this is really thin on the edges here. But hey, I already said that uh, the first one is always funky. So this is probably one, the one that they don't show you on all of the other videos, but I'm gonna show you, cause I'm a trooper. Oh, okay. Now, yes, this one, <laughs> this one is kind of sad. I mean, he's got a smile, but 
he's kind of sad. So let's just sort of scoot that. I mean, it, it is relatively in one piece. Give me a little bit of credit. So I can see it sort of bubbling a little bit underneath. Okay. It's not a complete disappointment, you know. It will not go to the disappointment room. And yes, it's, it's fluttering around a little bit. That's cool. It is definitely cooking. And these go really, really, really fast. Okay, see, now, now it wants to do the whole shimmy shake. And for those of you that are cringing, just pretend this never happened. This particular one never happened. Nope. You know, if I if I had if I had a pet, it would get to eat this one, but I don't, so call me Rover. Alright. So this one, it's almost done for all intents and purposes. Now I certainly do not have the the technique nor the mastery to be able to sort of flip it without the use of a spatula. Oh, I am not near that. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. I do not have those skills, but that's okay. I've seen some really incredible videos of uh, street vendors who make them on just a hot plate that can't flip, and they have what looks like a Zen garden rake without the spokes, and they swirl around the batter, and they're all creative. Yeah, no, I'm not there yet. I'm having fun, but I'm not, I'm not there yet. How about that? All right, I think this guy is just about done. Whoop! Hello. Yep. Okay, so that one is done. Now the next one, in theory, should work out a little bit better. Let me give myself just a quick spray, and we shall go to town with this next one. Now you can hear a sizzle. It's already cooking on the surface here. So give it that whirly twirly, and there we go. So now that the pan has had a chance to warm itself up, literally and figuratively, we should have better luck with this one. In theory, and I can't help myself, I need, I need a snack. Mmm. Delish. Okay, this one is already ready to go. Oh, almost, just a few more seconds. And I don't know if you can tell, but it is definitely curling along the edges where it's its thinnest. It's awesome. Pretty much tells you what you need to do and when. Voila! See, much better than the first. Now, personal experience, you don't want to get these, like, you know, full of brown spots like you would with tortillas. You want them to maintain a relatively pale status, uh, because then if you want to heat them again on the pan uh, with some fillings, then they won't get overdone. So this one is probably done right now. Yeah, see a little bit of a golden spotting action right there, nothing major. And voila. Get our next one going. And give it a swirly whirl. There we go. Really, really easy. Did I lie? Nope very, very easy. And you, you do have to keep moving. That is one of the things, though. Frankly, I think that 
When it comes to the difference between cooking and baking, I think that I'm better with baking because there isn't this fancy schmancy stuff on the top here. <laughs> you just put something in a, a dish, put it in the oven, and just hold your horses. You, you just wait. Woo, hello. There. All right. And I think I'm going to give it a spray again before I do the next one. But you're getting the idea. Now, this recipe, it makes, roughly speaking, about eight or nine of these crepes, roughly speaking. Um, I don't see any reason why you couldn't double the recipe if you wanted to. Uh, personally, I think that this is great for one really hungry person or two moderately hungry people. Also, of course, it depends on what sorts of fillings you decide to add in there. And there we go. All right, I think this one is good to go. And you know what? I am going to keep making the rest of this batch and I will see you in a bit on the fillings and the toppings and all that sort of good stuffs. See you in a bit. All right, so I have finished making up my crepes. I think that they look wonky, but lovely, and I'm sure they're gonna be tasty. Take a look at this stack. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, so now comes the fun part. Now, for this example, I'm gonna be doing a, a sweet version. You can totally do savory if you want to. So, oh, it's so gorgeous. Love it. All right, so I'm gonna be using some homemade marmalade that I had made the other week. There we go. And also I will put a link to the video where I made marmalade. Oh, opening the jar, it smells so good. Woo, smells so good. And this is some rather thick stuff. Now you don't really need a lot to be perfectly frank. Let me get a knife here. And I'm just gonna go into one quadrant of my crepe here and spread it around just a little bit. Now there are a million and one ways to fold crepes. That there are. You know, so I'm gonna show you one version first. So after putting my marmalade in just one quadrant, fold it in half and then fold it in half again. And you have sort of a little little pie wedge. And you can do a whole bunch like that. Other versions, you could roll them up. You could make little burritos. I've done that, that's a lot of fun too. But I think right now I'm just gonna do the, the quadrants, if you will. And then I also have some powdered sugar which makes a really nice look on top. Now, as far as savory versions, well, I've only tried one, but there are many, believe you me. And what I did was after making my crepes, I then made some scrambled eggs and put that inside of here. So I'll put a little bit of scrambled eggs, some shredded cheese, some, some chopped up grape tomatoes, put that in the center, fold it over the sides, and then rolled it up like a burrito. It was so, so good. That day what I did was half sweet and half savory, and it was delightful. Now, when I was a kid, my dad used to make what he called fun cooking, which is a German version, very similar to this. And we would spread out some raspberry jam, sprinkle on some cinnamon and sugar, and they were delightful. And we would roll them up 
and it was quite, quite nice. So I'm just going to make four of these. Now the rest of them, you can freeze them. What I would recommend is if you're going to freeze them, roll them up and put them on a plate and then freeze them. Then when they are frozen, take them out of your freezer, separate them and put them in a freezer bag and then you can take them out as you need them. And then you can reheat them at your leisure. And there we go. Just want to arrange them just a little prettier. And there you go. Some cute little crepes. Now for the finishing touch and I'm out of marmalade, unfortunately. Okay, so for the paste de resistance, the finishing touch, I have some powdered sugar and I have a sieve. An extra spoon here. Oh, this looks lovely and messy. <laughs> go. That looks lovely. All right. And voila, some lovely, lovely crepes. So now, you know what we have to do next, right? We need to do the taste test. So let's get over to the table and do it to it. Mm. All righty. So now for my favorite part of every video is the taste test. And these look absolutely scrumptious. Now, if you don't have powdered sugar, that's fine. You know, um, you know, sprinkling on some regular sugar, it just gives it just a little, you know, just, just a little. So let's dig in. Always, always exciting. And I can't wait because I am starving. This is my dinner. <laughs> Bon appetit. Mmm. Mmm. So good. They're light, a little bit fluffy, very smooth, you know, if, if that could be if that could be said, you know, they, they are. They're they're smooth. And I love the texture. And of course, the marmalade gives it a nice little, absolutely delightful. Mm. So, so very good. And what I really love about this is, like I said, they are versatile. I have heard of all sorts of different ways that you can make these, different variations, different recipes, and so forth. Have you made crepes before? How good or how badly did I do? <laughs> what did you do that was different or the same or what have you? What were your experiences like? Always curious for your input, your creative feedback. You know, I love these. And for the longest time, I was so intimidated, no joke. But the nonstick pan really makes a difference, big time. And be sure that it is sprayed or oiled or at least something because they're so thin that it, it's like their natural tendency to just want to rip if you look at them funny. So having a nonstick surface is pretty darn important, you know, but I just love how you can do so many different things with them. I imagine that maybe some, some feta cheese and some tomato, maybe some spinach inside. Oh, mmm, sounds delightful. I've also seen rather creative ways of taking a, uh, a sunny side up egg 
putting that in the middle of the finished crepe and then folding over the four sides, leaving the center exposed with the yoke standing up, you know? I mean, so many really cool creative ways. Now, granted, this is very, very basic, okay? I did not get super duper elaborate, but it is a great jumping off point, a springboard for your creativity. And I really hope that you like this video. I really like this video and I'm really going to continue to enjoy this video. Excuse me. <laughs> um, these are so delish and I am gonna polish off the rest of these, don't you worry. Especially since I have another jar of marmalade in the fridge that is screaming to be opened. So listen everybody, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you liked it. And like I said, give me your feedback. You know, um, yeah, so until next time, I hope you have a great, great day. Stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay making fabulous and tasty things in the kitchen and stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now everybody and have a great day.